Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating this really nice, sultry, elegant look. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look bold, but I have my hair laid back today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going ahead to prime my skin with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Today, I'm going to be creating a look for a night out with the girls, date night, night out with your man, your husband, your friends, just a night out. Something really, really nice and elegant and very, very simple to achieve. I'm just putting the primer onto my skin and I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation in the shade Cinnamon today. Day. I'm just going to put that all over my skin and of course I'm spreading it out with my Evita Joseph um, flat brush I'm going in with just a little bit more foundation I went in with about two and a half pumps and that should be enough to cover my entire face I'm blending it out with the CVL beauty foundation brush I'm gonna go ahead and just buff everything into my skin I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender i'm just going over my entire face to do some more blending to take off the excess products to make sure no product is gonna stay anywhere especially around my nose and under my eyes and around my chin area just to make sure everything is really really nice and blended out you should do this if you often use a brush to blend out your makeup just to have an even base I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I got my brows uh, re microbladed, like I went in for a touch up, so I'm not gonna be doing much to my brows. I'm filling them in with the Evita Joseph Esper Brow Liner in the shade Rich Espresso, just following the shape of my brow and just filling out the sparse areas in my brows. Nothing much to see here. I have an um, a brow tutorial on my channel. I would link it above in the cards or down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out it's super beginner friendly um so yeah i'm going in to just blend out my brows just to make sure no brow product is lingering on the hairs i'm going in to sculpt out my brows with the foundation which is the huda beauty foundation that i used earlier i like to do this step just to clean up my brows a little bit just a little bit it just makes everything really really nice and seamless for the top of my brows as well i'm going in with the foundation to make sure that i do not have any halo brows or any you know um lightness around my brows i'm going around um to buff it out with the real techniques um deluxe uh crease brush i think that's what it's called i'm just blending it out and as you can see the top of my brows are really blended out for highlighting, I'm using the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. I'm just going to be putting that under my eyes. This is a really nice bright concealer and it's also full coverage as well. For the rest of my highlighting, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Tan. I love to use this for every part of my face as well but today i just wanted to use this to do the rest of my highlighting and stick to the two face under my eyes i needed a little bit more coverage under my eyes as you could see that i didn't go under my eyes and over my eyes with the foundation um but yeah this is just really amazing i'm just putting a little bit of the bond this way concealer under my brows just to sculpt it out again dragging the concealer down onto my eyelid just to prime them a little bit eventually i'm gonna just cover up my entire lid to give me a nice fresh canvas for the eye look we are gonna go for today i'm blending out my highlights with a brush i'm using the real techniques contour brush to just 
buff everything out onto my skin everything is looking nice and seamless i'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer under my eyes as well just to make sure everything is really nice and covered up i love to blend out my concealer with a brush guys it just gives me a lot of control and as you can see i'm going over my lid with the concealer and i have just primed my eyelid i don't have to go in with much more concealer anymore but yeah that's about it i'm just buffing everything out onto my skin going back in with a beauty blender to do some extra blending and to take off any excess products from under my eyes i'm also going ahead to buff out the concealer on my nose that we applied earlier and i'm going over under my eyes and you know literally everywhere that i apply the concealer to make sure everything is nice and blended out I'm gonna contour with the Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Benin. I'm gonna go on to the high points of my cheekbones and I'm gonna go around my hairline, the bridge of my nose, as well as my chin um, and my jawline to make sure everything is looking snatched. Remember, if you're going out at night, you wanna look very snatched so that when the light hits you it just hits you in all the right places so that you look really really nice especially if you're going out on a date you want to do some sculpting you don't want to make your contour too high um too dark so yeah you just want to make sure your contour is very very soft but you know you appear looking sculpted but soft I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. I'm blending out my contour with this brush from Colorbox Cosmetics. I really like to reach out for this brush because it's angled and it's really, really nice for buffing out the product. For my nose, I'm dragging the contour product into my brows and I'm just dragging it down my nose. I'm just using um, soft stippling motions to make sure that I do not move the product. I'm just packing it on if you have oily skin you want to avoid dragging products on your skin because it will just move the entire base from there so you want to use soft stippling motions of course i'm going back in with a beauty blender to take off excess products and do some extra blending remember you want to appear soft and sculpted so you want to do very well when you are blending take your time start early so you don't have to rush through your makeup because rushing through makeup is not it you're gonna mess up and you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna end up looking like something else i'm gonna go ahead and bake with my huda beauty easy bake setting powder in the shade blondie i'm just pushing that under my eyes when using the Huda Beauty powder, you want to go in with as little as as little as possible to push and set your makeup. You don't want to go in with a lot. I always advise people to, you know, um set before they bake. If you go ahead and bake right away without setting, your makeup is going to look really, really, really cakey, especially this powder. It's a very heavy powder, so you want to be really light-handed with it. So I just dipped the butt of my beauty blender into the powder, and I'm just going over my entire face to, you know, set it. I'm not going to go in with, you know, any extra products. Um, that's about it. But as you can see, my eyelids were creasing a little bit, so I decided decided to go back in with some concealer later on you guys are gonna see that but I am baking now everything under my eyes is very set 
um so now i can go ahead and bake i like to bake to you know catch fallout and to make sure that my under eyes is looking um airbrushed one thing about this powder you're gonna be looking airbrushed even though it's a little heavy you have to know how to use it so yeah i'm going back in with just a little bit concealer because the concealer of my eyes was creasing on me because i didn't set it um it's normal to crease on your eyelids especially if you use concealer because naturally your eyelids are always closed like always looking up like your eyes are always open so it's natural that you crease over there so you want to set it as soon as you apply concealer i didn't do that that's why i ended up creasing now i'm going in with these nice brushes that i received from cvl beauty this is their new eyeshadow brush collection and i'm using the evita joseph x jessica um the lady eyeshadow palette i went in with i completely forgot the name of the shade that i went in with but i just put that into my crease and i'm going in with that um red shade right there i'm just putting that on top of the color that i used um earlier just to make it appear a little warmer because i was gonna be going in with a bold lip i'm going in with that matte black there that black is one of the blackest shades i've used it's like really really rich so you want to be really careful i'm just stamping that onto the center of my lid um you guys want to do some extra blending when you do this step um you want to be really really careful like i said do not rush through this eye look because it's gonna be messy if you rush through it i'm going in with a dark brown right there and i'm just gonna go on top of the black that i applied all over my lid and i'm just gonna keep pushing it on there and blending it out and blowing it out onto my crease like just spreading it out onto my lid right there so it's gonna look really really nice so like essentially the black that i used was just a base because i wanted a really um dark smoked out look and a just using a brown was not going to cut it for me so i decided to use a black before using a dark brown so i realized that there's a really nice gradient going on there that i really really loved now i'm gonna be going in with my um eyelashes from glamnetic i forgot the name of the eyelash company i'm so sorry guys but i would put it down below in the description box i'm using the magnetic lashes and i'm just applying the glue that came with the lashes they're super easy to apply you just literally apply it and you just wait for it to be tacky and you go ahead and apply the eyelashes with some tweezers as you guys can see um it's really really super easy but the eyelashes are quite heavy but because i like big lashes i don't mind if you're a beginner i'm sure that they have like smaller styles that are going to be much comfortable for you now i'm just dusting off all the fallouts and the excess powder of my face with the evita joseph um tall light brush i'm just dusting everything off this brush is amazing as that adds dusting um excess powder of your face i'm going in with the fancy beauty pro filter powder foundation i'm in the shade 390 and i'm using my um face finishing brush from cvl beauty i'm just pushing that into my skin making sure everything is nice and evened out as you can see i just avoided the area under my eyes because i didn't want to go in with any extra powder for bronzing, I'm using the Sunstalker bronzer from Fenty Beauty in the shade Coconutty. I'm just going over where I contoured, just giving my face some warmth because, you know, we applied powder and the warmth got a little lost. So you're just bringing it back to life. Like I said, when you're going out at night, you want to look sculpted, but you want to look soft as well. So today I'm combining these two. Um, a bronzer and a blush one is from juvia's face and one is from fancy beauty i'm in the shade mocha mommy i wanted it to go with the eyes so using just the bella blush from juvia's face wasn't doing it for me so i decided to combine the two and it gave me a really nice soft dark um 
blush like looking i looked flush and i looked bronze at the same time i don't know if you guys can tell i'm gonna go ahead and set all that powder in with a morphe continuous setting spray and i'm just drying it off with my cvl beauty portable fan everything is looking so nice and so seamless i'm using my huda beauty mascara i'm just using that onto my lower lashes because they needed a little help honestly <laughs> I lack in the lash department. I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Gold Deposit. This is my go-to highlighter. It is gold and it just really has a nice reflection when the light hits it. It's just really, really amazing. It is also soft at the same time and very, very blendable. I'm just using my Colorbox Cosmetics brush to apply my highlighter onto the high points of my cheekbones ever so lightly. You want to be very light-handed when it comes to highlighter because yeah you don't want to be doing too much at night um also i'm gonna go ahead and straighten out my brows with some lash glue nope uh this wasn't lash glue this was the got to be uh glue that i always use the black tub mm, and i'm going in with um my davis cosmetics um dark brown lip liner i'm just going in to give my lips some dimension i'm slightly overlining the top of my lip and i'm gonna do the same for the bottom as well just to make sure that when i apply my lip there's a nice gradient going on i also wanted my lip to look a little pouty like i said going out at night you want to look really nice for my lip, I'm using the Colored Rain Matte Lipstick in the shade Cherry Blossom. I'm just putting that all over my lip. This lip color is a really nice lip color, especially for women of color. It's just like um, a dark um, lip color, a dark red lip color, and it's really, really suitable for a date night or a night out with the girls. It's just a really, really nice color. Uh, this is one of my favorite lip lip colors right there i really do love it so yeah guys that sums up the look i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also like this video if you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching bye guys